recovered. And starting off with our uh, first alert sky cam in Fargo, looking off to the west, we do have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies right now. Some thunderstorm activity well off to the west of Fargo should dissipate before it gets to our uh, viewing area. Temperatures around the region have fallen into the upper 60s out toward the Bemidji area and lower 70s most everywhere else, including uh, the Southern Valley, Lakes Country, Jamestown area into the Northern Valley, also into the lower 70s. 70s with the humidity levels lowering and the wind also becoming calm in some areas or very light from a northwesterly direction. Here's what it looks like on the satellite loop. We have mainly clear skies across most of the region. Just a few clouds as you look off to the west. Now there are some showers now and some rumbles of thunder just off to the south of the Bismarck area. We'll see how long these will hold together. See if they can actually get into the James River Valley with some moisture or if they're going to dissipate before they get here. Most of the severe weather overnight is going to be uh, in South Dakota right now. Now, high pressures off to our north. That frontal boundary that gave us some strong to severe storms is exiting our viewing area and uh, we will start to dry out and clear out going through the overnight. So here's what it looks like on the hour by hour forecast. Most of us staying dry as we do have temperatures falling back through the 60s and then for the day tomorrow, mostly sunny skies during the day. It should be relatively calm, but uh, we are tracking what's going to happen tomorrow evening into the overnight on on Wednesday, we're going to have an increase in the clouds going through the evening with some showers and thunderstorms developing into portions of western and then central North Dakota. They're going to make their way through going through the overnight period and into Wednesday morning. This is our next chance of some severe weather with a large hail, damaging winds and maybe some flash flooding possible with the heavy rain from this. It will continue to make its way through going through the overnight and into Wednesday morning before it exits the viewing area and then for the day on Wednesday most of us are back to mainly sunny skies going through the afternoon with temperatures warming up a little into the mid to upper 80s. Let's take a look at that severe weather risk and on the North Dakota Montana border enhanced risk of severe weather we're in a slight risk across our region. The timing on the uh, severe storms will probably be around 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. 11 p.m. Tuesday to 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Wednesday morning still a slight risk of severe Severe weather as these storms should be over Lakes Country and then they will exit uh, by late morning to around midday. Let's take a look at that photo of the day. This one is called Wapiton Storm. Thank you to Sarah for this one using the background of the seven day forecast. So we have two first alert weather days for Tuesday and Wednesday. The real threat is overnight into Wednesday morning with those strong two severe storms possible. Temperatures remaining into the mid to upper 80s over the next couple of days. Then back into the mid 80s Thursday and Friday as we do have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Uh, another storm chance on Saturday into the upper 80s, lower 90s on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. And another storm chance as we're back into the mid 80s on Monday. All right, thanks Justin. Stay